double layer of box. Okay, this this is actually awesome. Two boxes like what? Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Steven. Today there will be a figure unboxing and as you can tell from the title of this video, it is Good Smiles 1x7 Scale Soji Okita Outer Ego or Soji Okita Outer from FGO. What you're looking at in front of the box here, Jujutsu Kaisen, no, that is not it. It is just a local figure dealer repurposing a box from other figures to ship a different figure. Very common practice. And as you can see from this parcel over here, there are black color objects at the corners. These are corner braces. And it is a fairly common practice over in China. A number of figure stores in China, they apply these corner protectors for parcels. As long as there is something inside that is fragile and they also want to protect the box of the merchandise inside. You don't see this in Japanese stores. They don't really do it because this costs money to apply. And over here, local store here in my country, yeah, the local figure stores here, not many of them do this at all. In fact, I think this is only the first or the second time, the second time I've seen a local figure store doing this. It is really nice to have and I hope that more figure shops do this more often. So without further ado, let's open up this box and I shall put this aside. Double layer of box. Okay, this this is actually awesome. Two boxes like what? Okay. Wow. There is another box inside this box. Most likely the figure is going to turn out perfect for the box for the packaging. This is actually a surprise to me. Wow. Okay. Look at this. Just look at it. I certainly wasn't expecting this, right? So there we have it, the name of the figure right in front, Soji Okita. So the actual figure is, the figure box is actually a little bit smaller. Thirty-seven. Forty-seven and forty-one. So no, this figure's box is actually a bit smaller than Ning Wang, but it is still a rather huge one. Okay, so let's proceed.
Okay, so the assembly process for this figure took me way longer than I expected because I was nervous as heck. Mainly because there are quite a number of fragile parts on this figure and to make things worse, well, the parts are very tight, especially that neck over here. Yeah, the removable head over there. The pack is so long yet very tight and I had to take extra care because of this ahoge up here. Yeah, this standing hair strand we call the ahoge. I have seen countless people break this ahoge on many other different types of saber figures. And no, I'm not going to let that happen to me. So I had to be very careful with everything. Also, this removable arm over here, which allows you to put on this hair strand and remove it. Yeah, it is also very tight, but that is still fine. The bigger issue is this long sword over here. There is a specific name for extra long katanas in traditional Japanese weaponry. Is it called the naginata? I'm not very sure. Yeah, this extra long sword over here, the first thing is that it is extremely difficult to insert the sword handle into her right hand. Very difficult. It is very tight. So I did not want to break anything, not the small plastic bag over here. And then the second issue I can see with this figure regarding the sword is that because this entire sword is made of plastic, ABS plastic, it feels like ABS plastic, Gunpla plastic. It is very flimsy as you can see. It is very flimsy and flexible. I am concerned about how this sword will stand up in the long term because if you live in a very hot and humid country, your room is very warm, there is a potential where this sword will sag downwards over time. I'm not saying it will happen but there's a 50-50 chance it might. Sagging, leaning or bending tends to happen to PVC which is a softer material and more heat sensitive compared to ABS. But nonetheless, I'm still concerned about this sword in the long term. I feel that Good Smile should have made this sword, the entire sword including the handle, in metal, in die cast. And if you think that will cost a lot to make, I assure you that is not the case because Alto has already done it to their cheaper figures. For example, this Saber Alter or Rider Ultra Pendragon Alter, Rider class, not really a Saber. This figure by Alter, the mop she is holding, the entire handle all the way to the brush, they are made of metal. I'm not joking with you because I own that figure. Alter made the entire mop in metal. And that figure isn't expensive at all. So why not use die cast on this katana over here because I think this is the best part to be fabricated in metallic material. Okay, so putting aside this sword, there is another issue which I think this is very common, is that the sword handle is blocking her eye, her face. I am not very happy with this because as a photographer, when I'm going to photograph this figure in the drama much later, and this sword handle blocking her eye, that is not very nice for photography. Yeah. I could have used some force or used some heat to bend her arm downwards and that would solve the problem but I'm not very keen on doing that but I will discuss more about it in the second video featuring her proper review. So if you are interested in this figure review or any figure review I make, please do subscribe to this channel. Until then, see you guys and that is all about the unboxing of this figure of Soji Okita. She has already been out for a few months by now so if you own this figure and you have additional inputs on this figure, please do drop it down in the comments below and I shall see you guys soon. Thank you very much and goodbye.